Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. Friends, in this video, I will explain classification of transducers. Following topics will be covered in the video. The first one is what is transducer? Then mechanical transducers. Later on, I will explain what is electrical transducers and the classification of electrical transducers. So let's start. See friends, a transducer is a device which converts one form of energy or information into another form. Here you can see that the input to the transformer is one form of energy and it will produce another form of energy as the output. This is these transducers are widely used in measurement for the work because not all quantities that need to be measured can be displayed as easily as other. It means that most of the quantities cannot be measured directly and therefore we need a device which will convert that quantity into a quantity which can be measured by some suitable uh, scale and that's why a transducer needs uh, uh, in instrumentation system. A better measurement of the quantity can be usually made if it, it may be converted to another form which is more convenient and accurately displayed. For example, a common mercury thermometer converts the variation of temperature. Here the variation of temperature is converted into the length and uh, this is the simple type of a transducer which converts the temperature into length. The transducers are mainly classified into mechanical transducers and electrical transducers. Let's see what the mechanical transducers are. This is the simple example of mechanical transducer. It is known as C-type Bordon tube. This Bordon tube basically converts here we input some pressure there uh, maybe of uh, some fluid. So this, this pressure will try to make this seat is c-shaped board on tube straight and therefore we can say that it converts the pressure into uh, displacement this type of board on tube is generally used in a pressure gauge which is generally used for the measurement of pressure for the tires these mechanical transducers are simple and rugged in construction similarly it is cheaper in cost accurate and operate without external power supply so these are the advantages associated with mechanical transducer but there are some disadvantages also that mechanical transducers are actually having poor frequency response it means that they are slower similarly requirement of large forces to overcome mechanical friction it requires large forces to overcome mechanical friction incompatibility when remote control or indication is required and if you want to indicate it or if you want to use the remote control operation then mechanical transducer are incompatible these are the limitations related with the mechanical transducers and therefore to overcome these limitations electrical transducers are used now let's see what the electrical transducers are so electrical transducers are the transducer which convert any non-electrical quantity into electrical quantity here the input for the electrical transducers are non-electrical quantities such as temperature pressure etc and it will convert them into electrical energy so the physical quantities may be mechanical electrical optical or thermal and further the output will be electrical signal basically electrical transducer is a sensing device by which the physical mechanical or optical quantity to be measured is transformed directly with a suitable mechanism into electrical signal electrical signal such as current voltage or 
frequency and the production of these uh, signals these electrical signal are based on the electrical effect which may be resistive inductive or capacitive etc in nature now let's see the classification of electrical trans transducers or simply the classification of transducers this is the main topic of today's video it is active and passive transducers further analog and digital transducers primary and secondary transducers then it is further classified into transducers and inverse transducers and lastly on the basis of transduction principle used the first classification is active and passive transducers so active transducers do not need external power source for the operation it means that active transducers are called as self generating type transducer and it do not require any external power supply for its operation most of the times we apply dc supply for the conversion of the quantities into electrical signal that is uh, we will require external power for the production of the output but uh, in case of active transducer we will directly get the output in the form of electrical signal the example for the active transducer is the piezo electric transducer which converts pressure into electrical signal now let's see what the passive transducers are it is exactly opposite to that of active transducer as active transducer do not need any external power supply passive transducer need external power supply for their operation so they are not self generating type transducer a dc power supply or audio frequency generator is used as a external power source the example for this passive transducer is lvdt that is linear variable differential transformer next classification is actually on the basis of methods of application that is transducer is classified into primary and secondary transducer primary transducers are the transducer which will sense the quantity directly that means that it will be in the contact of the major and major and means the quantity which is to be measured therefore we can say that primary transducer are uh, directly in contact with the uh, quantity and uh, this will major uh, this will convert the con the non electrical signal into electrical signal this is the function of primary transducer example for this is the thermistor here it is used for the measurement of temperature the thermistor senses the temperature directly and causes the change in resistance with the change in temperature further this change in resistance can be used for the change in uh, voltage or current for the measurement thus the thermistor can be used for the measurement of temperature which is come into the category of primary transducer because it is directly measuring the temperature now let's talk about the secondary transducer which actually uses the output of a primary transducer for its operation and further the electrical signal uh, it will convert the quantity into electrical signal and thus the secondary transducer works here you can see this is when a pressure is to be measured a c type bodon tube is used here now another transducer that is lvdt is also used here which is actually uh, connected to this c type bodon tube here you can see that the pressure is inserted here uh, the air is inserted here and therefore pressure will be applied therefore there will be the movement in uh, this part of the c type bodon tube which will further move the core of an lvdt uh, if there is a displacement of the core there will be the change in output voltage and this change in output voltage is actually used for the measurement of pressure now see that we are using lvdt for the measurement of pressure but it is not directly measuring the pressure actually pressure is in direct contact with the primary transducer that is a c type bodon tube whereas lvdt is acting as a secondary transducer here 
Next type of transducer is analog and digital transducer which is actually classified on the basis of output signal. Here the analog transducer convert the input signal into output signal which is a continuous function of time. So basically the analog uh, transducer convert an analog input signal into analog output signal. The example for this are thermistor, strain gauge, LVDT and thermocouple etc. Whereas digital transducer uh, are the transducer which will convert the output signal in the form of pulses. That is it gives the district output. Digital transducer are actually becoming more popular nowadays because advantages associated with digital measuring instrument and due to the effect of digital signal that can be transmitted over a longer distance without causing a much distortion due to amplitude variation and phase shift and therefore digital transducer are becoming famous and more famous nowadays. Sometimes analog transducer is combined with ADC that is analog to digital converter and therefore again we can call this transducer as a digital transducer. The further classification of transducers are transducers and inverse transducer. Here the transducer means electrical transducer which converts the non-electrical quantities into electrical quantities. For example, a thermocouple, photoconductive cell, pressure gauge, strain gauge, etc. The inverse transducers are exactly opposite to that of transducer. That is, inverse transducer will convert a non-electrical quantities, electrical quantities into a non-electrical quantity. Here, it is a precision actuator having the electrical input and low power output as a non-electrical output. Many data indicating and recording devices are basically inverse transducer. Here we can say that the voltmeter and ammeter of moving coil type are the inverse transducer because it is converting inverse uh, electrical signal into the mechanical movement. The most useful application for the inverse transducer is in feedback measuring systems. Next classification actually is on the basis of transduction principle used. Here on the basis of transduction principle, the transducer are classified into resistive transducer, inductive transducer and capacitive transducers respectively. Actually these are very very uh, different topics and uh, will take some more time so it will be covered in some uh, another video so keep watching friends if you like this video please share with your friends